is this the last Thanksgiving that you will spend inside of your current home? Hi, my name is Scott Jacobs with Jacobs & Company Real Estate, and I wanted to come to you real quick because pretty soon, next Thursday, we're filming this Thursday before Thanksgiving, so in exactly one week, right, we will be sitting down with our family members, our loved ones, and our extended family, of course, friends, and so on and so forth, and we will be having, hopefully, an amazing meal, and which will get us, during the holiday season, to start really thinking big thoughts, big ideas. It's a question I keep getting, right, from people right now is, Scott, you know, uh, we're looking at selling, we're thinking about selling, but we're thinking about spring. And I wanna tell you why that is incorrect for right now. For one, the holiday season, you're gonna be getting together with, uh, you know, with, with family and loved ones and, you know, uh, your, your colleagues at your place of work and business. And, you know, there's gonna be a lot of discussion surrounding real estate, right? Everybody's talking about real estate right now with rising inflation, the price of real property goes up. Um, you know, many people have built up a uh, very sizable equity position in the property that they currently own. Uh, and maybe for that matter, an investment property. Now is the time. We are working with some of the most incredibly low inventory we've ever seen before. And why interest rates were ticking up, they have now come back down. That's the perfect storm for you as a seller to capitalize on the high end of the market. So maybe now you're looking at, you know, your kids are gonna be graduating from high school this year, you're gonna be empty nester, or maybe you're already empty nester, or your boss told you that you never have to come back to the office again, and you can live essentially anywhere you want to, uh, as long as you have good internet service. At which point you decide to sell, say next year, because you know, you know, the flowers are blooming, the Easter Bunny's coming out, and I just intuitively know and have been told, we've been programmed to think that spring is the best time to always sell our property. And guys, it couldn't be further from the truth. The last two out of three years, our fourth quarter here has been our most productive. I can tell you firsthand, our buyers are hungry. Uh, for properties to hit the market, okay? And why interest rates are suppressed right now, this is your best opportunity to cash out on the high end of the market. If you're already you know, at a mortgage payment that you're ultimately comfortable with, no matter what that amount financed is, how difficult will it be for you to make a decision to sell that asset and then transition to a property maybe with 1,500 square feet, 3,000 square feet less, maybe an acre less, maybe eight acres less than what you currently own right now, depending on what area you live in, right? The problem is, is if interest rates go up, you know, half point, full point, two points, you could end up paying more than what you do now for your six, eight hundred thousand dollar finance property by going to seek out a property for, you know, say seven, or $400,000 finance because of the rising interest rates. I'm speaking to you, you need to understand that now is really the time. You don't wanna wait for inflation to continue and then the Fed to increase the rate, which is gonna impede that buyer's ability to afford more house, uh, which will ultimately mean that prices will end up coming down. But when you need to sell and then get into another property, you know, why would you do it? If your monthly payment's gonna be the same or more, but you're gonna get significantly less square footage, acreage, you know, et cetera, et cetera, why would you do it? We will be spending, you know, the holidays here uh, before you know it, sitting down with our families, and I want you all to think, who in your family, who in your sphere of influence, your circle, right? you know, might need to downsize. Or guess what? You know, they've had, you know, a couple kids since we've all been in quarantine. Very possible, right? They might need to get out of that condo, that townhouse, and buy that single family. Think about the conversation, right? Are we in our dream home? Are we, do we need more size? Do we need less size? Is this area just too chaotic and busy and my job's flexible now and I can work from anywhere? Start thinking about those things. I want you to feel free, you watching this video and or any of your family members, colleagues, anybody in your, you know, your circle, right? To feel free to always contact us here at Jacobs & Company Real Estate. We're always gonna give you the most sound, timely advice in the market. 
You know, what I say oftentimes is don't trust the realtors, trust the data, right? Trust the data. We're going to give you the data. We're going to give it to you for free. We're going to give you a free, no obligation consultation. All you have to do is either DM us and or give us a call here at the office at 703 area code 594 3800. We would love to talk to you. Thank you so much.